Good afternoon, students. I'm Charles Emmanuel C. You're welcome back to our online program once again. This class today is um, for SS1 students, biology on the topic ecology. So today we shall be talking about this concept called ecology. All right, so let's get to know what this ecology is all about. Ecology is a branch of biology which deals with the study of organisms in relation to their environment. Ecology again can be referred to as what environmental biology because it studies organisms in relation to their what environment. So what do we really mean by this um, environment? The environment of an, of an organism could be referred to as all, I mean, some total of all the things the organism is interacting with. It could be biotic, it could be abiotic. When an organism's uh, environment is biotic, here we refer to what? Those things that the organism uh, comes in contact with, which are living, we call them biotic components or biotic factors, which includes or which can be classified into three groups or categories. One of the categories is words, producers. When we come to producers, producers involve all the green plants that can manufacture our own food, that, that can manufacture their own food. Then second one involves all the consumers. Consumers involve all the organisms that cannot manufacture their own food. This mainly involves the animals. Then the last one involves the words, the decomposers. Decomposers, which involves all the organisms that can do what, that can cause substances to decay when they are dead. Something like termites, something like bacteria, viruses, and all of that. Fungi, they could serve as words, as decomposers. So this involves the words, the biotic components of an environment. Then if you talk about the abiotic components of an environment, abiotic components talks about the non-living substances that interacts with organisms in their environment. When we talk about these non-living substances, you talk about light intensity, you talk about humidity, you talk about temperature, you talk about uh, rainfall, you talk about sunshine, all of these, pressure, they are the abiotic components, non-living substances which determines the face of organism in the environment. So now let's move down to this organizational levels of ecology. Just as we, we've learned in first term SS1 scheme of work, because this is third term SS1 scheme of work, just as we've learned in first term SS1 scheme of work, organizational level of life. We had the organizational level of life into what cell, Organizational level of life. I'm just making a recall of what we learned in SS one's first term. Organizational level of life involves what cell, tissue, organ, and system. So also we have organizational level of what ecology. Ecology has been arranged into what levels from the from the basic level to the what trophic level. Now watch it here. We have the first level as what population. Second one community. Third one biosphere. And fourth one ecosystem. We shall be talking about this thing in a nutshell. We shall be looking into them to know what they really mean and what they are. So population, what is population? Population is, a population could be defined as a group of organisms of the same species that can interbreed together. Yes, group of organisms that can interbreed together in a geographical area at a particular time. This definition is a little bit different from the definition you know population in economics. It's very different from it in the sense that this one has to be, has to involve organisms that can interbreed together because not all organisms that can interbreed together. You cannot call that a population. We have a population of goods, population of human beings, population of sheep, population of fowl. These are various populations we have. You cannot uh, count for a, a goat together with human being. You say this is a population. No, because they cannot interbreed together. So you go by what can interbreed. Human beings can interbreed together. So as others. So you call it this a population. So I recap. Population could be defined as a population could be defined as group of organisms that can interbreed together, living together in a geographical environment at a particular time. 
Now we move down to the next one, the next level of organizational level in ecology, which is community. What is community? Community involves various populations of organisms, various populations of living organisms living together in a particular or in a given habitat. I repeat, community could be defined as populations. Remember, populations, not just one population this time around. Population, maybe population of mango trees, population of gova trees, population of fowl, population of goats, population of human beings, population of this, population of that. All of them seen in the same habitat, living comfortably in that environment. You call this a community. Just like, just when you talk about a particular uh, community known to you, here we have Asiago community in Omonze here. So if you talk about Asiago community, what makes it a community? What makes Asiago a community is because when you come to Asiago, you will see population of goats, population of plants of various species, population of goats, popul various population, all of them inhabiting in the same environment. This is what makes a community to be called a community. So now let's move down to the next one, which is what? Biosphere. What is biosphere? Biosphere is that part of earth which supports life. Let's try to know some of the parts of the earth that supports life. In biosphere, we have the lithosphere, the hydrosphere, and the atmosphere. The lithosphere involves the, the, that part of earth, that, that part of earth crust, which I mean the soil part of the earth crust. We call them lithosphere. The sand, the soil on which we stand on, the sand on which our plants can grow and so many other life activities can now go on there. We call this lithosphere. The next one is what? Hydrosphere. Hydrosphere is the part that is occupied with what? Water. You understand? So we call this one hydrosphere. So there are some life existing in this very water body. Lives like fishes, the turtles, the, um, the, the, the starfishes, periwinkles, snails, and uh, so many other things, even the amphiosis, all of them, they exist inside this very uh, sea or water body. We call them hydrosphere. That's their habitat. The next one is the atmosphere. The atmosphere, as we all have seen here, the various, uh, let's say, we, we human beings, we enjoy the atmosphere. Bears enjoy the atmosphere. So, uh, some insects, like grasshopper, uh, like grasshopper, even the uh, butterflies, all of these, they enjoy the atmosphere flying up and down. So these are organisms living and existing there. That is biosphere. Remember I said biosphere involves three things. Lithosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere. Then we talk about the last one here, which is what? Ecosystem. What is ecosystem? Ecosystem is a biological community. Remember, we say it's a biological community of living and non-living things. I, I repeat, ecosystem is a biological community of biotic and abiotic components. Remember I have explained biotic and abiotic components. Now I mentioned here community of what? Eco, uh, community of biotic and abiotic components. Now, remember what I said in community. You cannot talk about community having not, if you do not refer to what? Populations. So, this uh, ecosystem of biotic and abiotic components, I've said that if you want to really know what the abiotic and biotic component uh, is made up of, refer to what I've said earlier on, you now discover that biotic components involves the, the, the consumers, the producers, then the decomposers. The Why the abiotic components involves the words, the, uh, the, the humidity, temperature, sunshine, the light intensity, pressure, turbidity, and all of this, all of this makes up the word abiotic components of ecosystem and then with this uh, we are going to call it a day here and then progressively we shall be moving into other things subsequently as it regards ecology in SS1 level thank you very much and we have your questions next time we visit our website if you have a question drop it on our website or even the whatsapp group we shall attend to your questions as such when necessary we'll respond to that thank you and stay tuned yeah